Hey guys, it's Isabella James here, aka Spiritual Bimbo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome here. Whatever situation is, subscribe, like, comment, do all the things. If you're consuming my content, I would absolutely enjoy the free support. So today, super excited to do another Q&A. This one has a little bit more of subject matter. Um, <laughs> I was originally going to do it during a try-on haul, but me doing my try-on hauls, it's its own vibe. So make sure to check out my try-on hauls. I'll link them down below. If you want to see more of me like that, or anybell.com has all my socials, safe for work and not safe for work. So let's get into it today. <laughs> um, what's happening on this Q&A? I asked you guys on my Instagram, which is spiritual bimbo zero instead of an O. Um, what you guys wanted to know about my body, fitness, surgery, like that kind of stuff. Because I, I don't think about it guys, because like, this is me every day, you know? Like, I forget I have really big boobs. I forget I have a fake butt. I forget that I'm also like in shape and like all of these things that like, not a lot of people necessarily are. Um, like I remember going to a festival global dance festival, link that vlog below, um, where this guy took a picture of me and he's just like, you don't see a body like yours every day. I'm like, hell no you don't baby, $70,000, let's go. All right guys, so I love this little moment I have going on here. Um, so, let me put my little phone on, do not disturb. Um, okay, so I have some questions here. How did your boobs get that big? <laughs> and what size were they before? Okay, well, they got that big because, you know, it's like the stork. I just really prayed and wished and manifested one day, and then I woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so big. No. So originally, I had a 32D around that area. Um, I also have a bimbofication video, I'll link down below. I got a lot of awesome videos, guys. Check them out. Um, so I always had like big naturals and then a couple years ago I just wanted them to not really be bigger but just more shapely. I just felt like they were kind of just sad, you know, and I wasn't a sad girl anymore so I wanted to have happy boobs. Um, so I got 350cc implants which is kind of like the norm. But since I already had natural tissue it brought me up to like a triple D and I'm 32 around because if you guys don't know I'm a small girl. Um, five foot one. Um, and so then two years later, a year and a half later, I got my second augmentation, which was 1200 cc. So a lot bigger. It hurt. Um, I also got a lift the first time, and then I got a lift the third time, which went up to 1400 cc, which made them more bolted on. I'm just kind of quickly going through it because I said I have a whole video about that, but. Um, yeah, so I've always had big boobs, but I have really big boobs, and I love that for me. The reason that I wanted them, um, you know, yeah, it's cool for work, but I would never get something just to make more money, to be honest with you, because I have to live with this every single day. And it does come with a little bit of challenges sometimes, not gonna lie, and it's not really my back hurting or anything like that, but just like yoga, or, you know, fitting in certain clothes, or just... Um, you know, I have to always wear a sports bra, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's how they got this big. Plastic surgery magic. What is my everyday? <laughs> so some of these are going to be about surgery. I'm just reading them like not in, you know, in order actually. Um, so what's your everyday go-to breakfast in the mornings? And you always look absolutely vibe to last -tastic. It's not a word, but I really like that, not a word. Um, I don't eat breakfast. I do intermittent fasting somewhat. Um, I'm currently eating a macro based thing. So as somebody tell me like, oh, intermittent fasting is more so like if you're not doing that, but not really because you could, you know, I still find the benefit of not having your eating window so open so your body can just rest and not focus its energy on fucking digesting food. Anyways, so I eat, well, I, I have my pre-workout shake at 9 o'clock, which is so early for me, but it just works with my schedule right now. 
um, which is just like a shake, or it's just protein powder and matcha. Um, and then I have a post-workout meal, which is typically like nice cream, which is like bananas and protein powder, or like oatmeal and protein powder, you know, something with carbs and protein. Um, I mean, ideally though, having fruit in the morning is the best because it's easiest to digest, but here we are getting these gains. Look at them. Oof, 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 oof. I'd show you my legs, but I got a skirt on. What is recovery like after getting such big implants? Um, so it's definitely more intense if you go from like a smaller size to a bigger size like I did. Typically they don't do that. They would have done like, you know, 800 or something in between, but Dr. Rivish, shout out, doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> so I was very painful just because of the stretching and I did get like a slight infection in one of them, which I just was like feverish and just like, ugh. Um, and I had to take antibiotics a bit longer. Terrible. The uh, surgery for my BBL and butt implants was a little bit more timely. Um, I don't think that's the right word. More time consuming because you know, like you can't fucking lay sit on your butt for like a month. You can't um, really, you can't like work out. I think for like three. No, yeah, you, you can't do like leg workouts or like weighted workouts. I think for three months, and then it's like six months until you can like really feel good, like lifting and stuff like that. But with breast implants, it's like it's still like six weeks, you know. But it's like just be like gentle with yourself and you know definitely don't do anything crazy um and really just depends how your recovery is like everybody's different because you know everyone heals differently and it's really how you like treat your body and like how you eat and just how you prepare for the surgery as well you know like before my first surgery i definitely was like i want to get in really good shape and i want to like prepare myself for the surgery i'm not about surgeries like fixing a problem I'm about them enhancing an already beautiful canvas my figure size, okay, I don't know exactly what that means. I don't really, I wear a size small, I wear size small bottoms and a medium top, which I know is kind of funny, but I'm so small around, so like, that's just how it works. Um, so dresses, it kind of really just depends. Like I said, like, I got dresses, um, you know, the other day I did like a try on haul, link that if that's around. <laughs> um, and I, I ordered small and it was like perfect, you know? So, you know, it just depends how tight you want things to be. How many pets do I have? Not relatable content to this conversation, but I have one amazing baby named Ramsey. And unfortunately he's not here right now because I'm at a hotel. <laughs> um, but he's just one, he, I think he's like four. Yeah, he's like four, maybe five now. I don't know, I got him when he was seven months and he's a little Maine Coon and he's my king. How do you keep your body in such great shape? What's your workout? I'd like to show my girl. Um, so I really watch, I, it's not that I really watch what I eat. I have a good metabolism, but, and I can't say it's cause I'm vegan cause you can be like a junk food vegan. Been there. Um, <laughs> but it's really just being mindful and like knowing your limits and not just like eating like shit all the time, you know? Like I eat really clean and I work out like every single day. Like today was my off day. I have two off days a week right now and I still do yoga or cardio or something like that. So it's really about staying active and knowing what works for your body. Currently I'm doing three leg days, two upper days, and then Oh yeah, and then I have like my two like off days and I'm still doing cardio. So it's really funny what works for you. This is like a very like um, constructed plan I have currently. I'm not always doing that, but I still am always committing myself to physical activity, um, especially since my job, you know, I'm, I'm not like up, I'm not like a waitress or something like that. So like all of my movement is intentional. So it's really about that. It's just making intentional movement and don't make excuses, you know, eat healthier. You know, don't have chips in the house if that's your problem. Like, make a point to go to the gym no matter what is in your way. You got this. She's got this. We all got this. How much money do you spend on your body? Like I mentioned a little bit ago, I've spent $70,000 um, on my body, veneers. That doesn't even count filler though. You know what I mean? Or Botox or anything like that. Or like tattoos. Um, but let me tell you, I have made that back a lot fold so for me it's an roi but like if you just want to do it yourself then fucking do it because confidence is an roi you know so 
Um, yeah, that's how much. With everything else, I'm sure over 100 grand for sure. Um, I'll show some before and after pics. Um, here at the Venmo vacation, but honestly, the pictures are not the best in that video, unfortunately. Um, so I will show some here, 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 or insert something like that. Um, let's see. Oh, no questions, just admiring your nails, current nails. Such, ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, the tattoos. I love this camera. Uh, I love your bimbo look question would you plan on going bigger in the future honestly that question grosses me out because I realize people like fetishize like girls wanting to get bigger boobs and that's cool for the girls that are into that and the guys that are into that that's not my jam at all I am happy like I could see myself maybe going bigger but not really like I could see myself more <laughs> say that I'm like not into it but like I'm really not because that's literally like society like conditioning me of like oh I could just a little bigger i could just change this i need to constantly change myself to validate <laughs> no i do not i feel fucking great and like i said i don't use my external situation to dictate my internal happiness because that's not true happiness that's relying on, on your external circumstances and we're not about that on here um but i mean if i need to get you know them fixed up or whatever in the future hell yeah just like i know when i'm older i'll get a facelift hell yeah you know like so it's more about that it's more about the maintenance at this point everything else i want for my body i can do through fitness and nutrition uh, let's see i'm not planning are you planning on changing your looks personally i don't think you should well bro don't really care what you think about but no i don't know why you would ask that or think that I'm very happy with how I look, um, I just, it really is like an expression of how I feel inward, you know, if I ever want like a different hair color or something, like, a girl will put a wig on because it takes a lot of maintenance to get this beautiful blonde ass platinum hair, so, um, I'd love it to be even lighter. I'm sure I'll get more tattoos, you know, not, not really my thing. Big lips, are they real? No, they're not. I actually have extremely... <laughs> extremely thin lips because I'm like northern European or whatever ethnicity I am <laughs> um, so yeah this is filler I love them I would have them bigger but my, I like to have the shapeliness and I've had some issues before let me know if you guys want to hear about when I um, dissolved $5,000 worth of filler RIP next surgery not planning on any how many tattoos do you have and where did you get them? I've got them all over the place. Lots of different people. I feel like I kind of have a tattoo artist now, but he only does like very specific type of tattooing, which is like the sacred... I can't see it. There you go. Sacred geometry. And then I got this mandala. Um, but... Yeah, I have like over 25. I don't... I, don't, I have a tattoo tour. Link that below. <laughs> Um, so you guys can see them there. I just like, I mean, I love my tattoos and stuff, but it's like, I just don't want to talk about all of them. I have a lot, you know? Um, when did you know how to peck blood? Um, <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know? I don't know. I remember before I even had it planned, so I was like, oh, that's cool. Can you do this? <laughs> can you? Yeah. Anyways. Um, my size would be a 32K, I believe, or 30K. I'm very small. How big are my boobs, hip, and butt? Why? I'm guessing measurements. Um, I think my butt is like 38 inches around. Last time I checked, my hips are like 30. And then my breasts, oh my god, I don't remember. I want to say they're like 36, 38. They're somewhere around there, 38. I don't remember. I meant to measure myself before I did this, but oops, I forgot. How do you keep your body so perfect? You have the best body humanly possible. Well, that's your opinion, and I really appreciate that. Um, like I mentioned before, though, I just am mindful of what I eat, and I work out a lot. You know, I'm not perfect, and I do like to eat delicious food that might not necessarily serve my fitness um, goals at the time. But for the most part, like, I was raw vegan. I was fit before that, though. It's really about, like, your macros and just, like, I don't eat, like, highly processed foods at all. Like, my, my, cons my processed food is, like oats you know like oatmeal or tofu not fucking like 
or even like bread, but like healthy bread, gluten-free bread and like really like very minimal ingredients. I'm like really into health. So I'm sure that is like an attribute of it. And plus I like to look good. So it's really about like your intention and your goals and aligning your habits and actions with them. Okay, let's see if we have any more. My favorite workout routines. I saw this when I was like thinking about it. I was like, I don't know. It really depends what mood I'm in. I, I love, I'm a leg girl, but I've really been enjoying working out my upper body. I really want to build my back up more and just be, be more strong. Um, and I love a core workout because I love me some abs. And I will tell you, some of this is from LiPo, I'm not gonna lie, but and you can't really see the shapeliness right now as much. <laughs> um, but I just, oof, that's like my fitness goal right now, is just get a little tinier waist, and I love that for me. So um, that is it, guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Spiritual Bimbo, with a zero, not an O. And let me know any other questions below. I will be doing some more Q&As in the future. And thank you for being a part of my amazing journey. I love sharing all the multifaceted, um, multidimensional parts of me. So let me know the kind of stuff you like to hear below. Remember, you can be anything you want to be. So make it good. I love you.